Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this occasion, I want to talk about how can we understand complicated lists of words in medical terminology. Let's just say how to approach medical terminology. For the first, you are going to be a healthcare professional, aren't you? Oh, yes, as a nurse, professional nurse. So for healthcare professionals like you, it is imperative that positions in use in the way patients' physical conditions and disease are described. So if you make a wrong statement about physical conditions of a patient, you may endanger their life. That's why nurses, doctor, and all healthcare professional need terms to describe disease or patient's conditions. This term need to be understood by the whole words. So some expert use a medical terminology using Greek or Latin word. It facilitates effective communications and correspondence between doctor, nurses, and all healthcare professional across border from different parts of the world, like language that we talk in English, for example. So you can talk English to almost everyone in the world. Why? Because English is considered as a word language. Mostly they understand or try to understand English if you speak in English, of course. It's similar with this in or between healthcare professional. In addition, medical terminology is used in college, um, medicines of course, and other areas of the health sciences. So, what is medical terminology? It is a system of the words. Why I call it as a system? Because definitely it has patterns. So, medical terminology can contain a prefix, root words, a combining vowel and suffix. Amoria, yeah. a prefix, root words, a combining vowels, and a suffix. So all of them create one medical term. This medical term can describe medical aspect and also disease. The specific locations on the body are indicated by prefixes usually. Uh, the meaning of this medical term change with different beginning and ending. So if you combine different beginning and different ending to the same root word, it will create different medical terms which has different meaning of course. Doctor or other health professional must be very precise when dictating the terms. Otherwise, as I said it before, it may endanger patients. So how to approach them? Medical terminology. What I like to call is just like break them up which is not very difficult to do so. So it's the key. Of course, let's say you have one big complicated or problematic words of medical terminology then you can just break them down into small more manageable pieces. How? Let's see how it works. It is, I think, somehow necessary for healthcare professional to get a dictionary of Greek or Latin roots since all medical terminology are taken from Latin roots and it can save your life, of course. If you don't have it, never mind, but not try to guess it, yeah? not like English. If you don't understand English, you can just guess it, but in the medical terminology, you cannot guess it. You need to make sure to create a specific and precise meaning of it. But if you cannot guess it, so what should I do if a doctor asks some difficult words like really long electrocardiogram for example? This is I don't really understand what's that. Easy, just break them up first. We can figure out how does it mean. However, how to break them up? Just like the mentioned example here on the slide, you can see that three parts of it exist prefix, roots, and suffixes. Prefix is the beginning. It mostly talks about size, shape, color, directions, amount, etc. And in the middle, mostly relates to parts of the body. 
and the last one suffix it can be about a size shape color or even about a problem just the example what I said before electrocardiogram you can just break them apart into three prefix root and suffix electrocardiogram electro means electricity cardio no cardio we will discuss about it later heart and gram is a record so we can just blend them into one electrocardiogram electricity heart record or we can say the record of the electricity in the heart okay so that's how we guess not completely guess the meaning of the medical terminology okay so what we are going to discuss here is just the most common pieces of the terms not all of the medical terminology because you cannot bear it at all so what you can see is when you find one difficult medical terminology on the book of the nurses you can just write it down and make a simple dictionary for your own yeah make a simple dictionary because those medical terminology will be used again and again or we call it as a common basis of the term the first is osteo the word osteo means boned like in the osteoporosis the second one is myo or sarco muscle then neuro nerves derm you heard it again and again derm skin Angio. Angio is a blood vessel. Pen. Or plebo. It's a vein. And cardio. Heart. Okay. One more time, yeah? It's osteo. You can just repeat after me when you listen to this. Osteo. Mayo. Or sarco. Neuro, Dern, Anio, Ven, Plebo, and Cardio. Next, I spill the common pieces of the term. We have the word nose for Rhino. Why we call it nose? To make it easier for you to remember. Why nose is called rhino in medical terms? We just remember the actual rhino, which has two horns. That's rhino. That's why we, in medical terminology, call it rhino for the nose. Tympan for the eardrum. Cranny skull. Optalm or oculo eye. Auto ear from for the blood cloth. Another one hepato liver mammo breast colo large intestine gusto stomach ileo small intestine thoraco chest pneumo or pleuro for lung so be careful whether men and women has thoraco but only women has mammo that's the most common pieces of the term now we can move on to the common uh, suffixes so basically those common pieces of the term considered as the root words and indicate the body parts of a human body part so we can just mix up with the suffixes just so these common suffixes related to size rates color places so for the size macro is large micro small megalo or megaly it's large or enlarged so what's the difference between macro and megalo 
is macro, which is stagnant, large. But megalo or megali can be large or big, can be enlarged, getting bigger. That's megalo, megali. For example, you can just mix up the words like hepato, megali. So, liver that enlarge. X is rate, hyper, high, or elevated, or above, hypo, low, the juice, or below, tachi is vast, a rapid, ready, slow, or reduced. We also have colors, green, chloro, white, look, like in leucocyte, red, Arif and blue cyan. Next one, placed. So if it is placed inside or within, we call it endo or intra. The opposite of endo or intra is extra. Extra means not additional but outside. And surrounded, we call it as peri. Between, we call it as inter. Across is trans. Another one, not only size, rate, color, and places, these common suffixes also come up with tests or procedures and also problem like echo using ultrasonic waves, electro, that's for the test and procedures of course, using electricity, Atomy is removal of gram is a picture graph a process of making an image Otomy is making cut in scopy using an instrument for viewing stomy create an opening so what's the difference between tommy and otomy making a cut in create an opening if it is stomy is in the surface while otomy it can be not only in the surface, but you can just dig in inside of it. Next is a problem. So problem, we have the dis, which is not working properly. Mal or bad, like malpractice. Amia, related to blood conditions. Itis, inflammations like dermatitis. It's the skin inflammations. Osis, the conditions or disease. And mostly knows about Pathy disease. This is the summary of it. If you find some difficult and quite long medical terminology like the hypercholesterolemia, hypercholesterolemia, you can just break them part into prefix, root words, and suffixes. Hypercholesterol and amia. So hyper, remember? up above or elevated cholesterol is the root word anemia is the blood condition so elevated blood cholesterol like i said before dermatitis so it is derm skin itis inflammation so inflammations of the skin another one is colostomy colon and stomach it's a create an opening in the colon now take a look at this uh, eight medical terminology I mentioned on the slide. Please try to explain this in your workshop. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.